Big Brother Africa 2014 winner, comedian and actor Idris Sultan has been arrested for mocking Tanzanian president. A video clip showed him laughing at an old photograph of President Magufuli wearing an oversized suit. His lawyer confirmed to BBC that the comedian was detained on Tuesday and has been denied bail for allegedly violating the country's controversial Cybercrimes Act. His lawyer said, and I quote, I strongly believe as a comedian, my client is only doing satire and satire can be political as well, end of quote. The law states that someone should not um, initiate or send any electronic communication using a computer system to another person with intent to coerce, intimidate, harass, or cause emotional distress, end of quote. If convicted, the comedian could face imprisonment for at least three years or a fine of five million Tanzanian shillings or both. President was being serious, emotional, emotional, emotional distress. distress. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, when I read that made story, me laugh so hard this morning. I, I, I watched the video over and over again. Because, just, because, because his so laughter ridiculous. is his laughter will make you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> He's touched. So the president mm -hmm. is touched. President is. I just hope or wish. No, I wish that um, the way African leaders get very sensitive when they are. Let me call use their word bully or mocks online. If they also get sensitive that way towards making, actually Change. doing the work that they're elected to do, I think yeah. life would be better. Yeah. Would be way better because I, you I don't get touched story. when mm -mm. we say that. Oh, you're we not doing lights. your job. Mm -mm. You don't. You don't get touched when people come out and protest. You don't get touched then, but you get touched when we laugh at your outfit, that your throwback outfit. Like, are, are you busy? You know? We, we laugh, laugh at, your, at our, laugh at our own throwback yes. outfit that you do. I feel like it's so ridiculous. Why would you imprison somebody because he laughed? When I read the story at first, at face value, I thought he did something more yeah. serious. I didn't think it was just going to be a 36 second clip of him laughing at the president. Because I can imagine in Nigeria, there are so many people who have done way worse things yeah. to our <laughs> president. <laughs> it, there, was, there was a time on in Twitter. In Nigeria, if you want to start arresting people, then they don't they need to have like a... They'll have like a, a, a parliament to create the prison where they will put us because... Yes. <laughs> to be honest, because there are, there are so many people. Look I mean, at America. If you Google stupid and Hmm. to images. Donald Trump's picture is the first picture. There is a whole show that, dedicated it to get, roasting to me, Donald it Trump. It doesn't get worse than that. Mm. Um, that Come stupid is, is now equivalent to Donald Trump. And that's only when he became president. Mm. And that is the president of the pow most powerful country in the, in, world. in the world. You're talking about Tanzania with maybe 56, 57 million people. One of the poorest, at least I know it's the poorest in, one of the poorest in um, South, South Africa, Southern Africa. So it's not like as if they have that much to do. First of all, who is policing people on social media? Mm -hmm. I, I saw the act and I, I got the act, but is there, a, is there a surveillance policy as well? Because then that is also, in, in a sense, um, um, invasion as well. So like mm -hmm. who is tracking Tanzanian um, posts? And they're making that decision to them. No, the video it must have gone, them. of course, it went viral. Mm -hmm. And somebody, it's a WhatsApp now. Somebody would have sent it mm -hmm. to the president to say, look at you. And he feels like, oh, I want to show myself. But also, um, we need to mention that this is not the first time he's been arrested for yeah, doing true. something online. The other one was even more, less yeah. ridiculous than this one. I can't remember now what he did. He photoshopped his face uh -huh, on the, the president's president. Own. And then the caption is not bad because he was basically saying he wanted the president to have... Mm -hmm. A, his birthday for himself, and while he would show that the responsibilities and of, um, and that. he was actually whatever, but he was let he, they let him go without um, charges. I think and for all. me, the the act in their country is very similar to the social media bill that was proposed yeah. mm. in Nigeria. Still and working. The problem, the problem is the fact that we understand the reason why the bill is being proposed, but the fact is just that the bill is too ambiguous. There are so many unwritten lines. There are so many things that are not clarified. What constitutes as bullying? What constitutes as, as harassment? I could tweet something in my right that I feel is the truth, and you say that it is harassment, and I'm arrested because of that. The ambiguity of the bill is the problem. We understand what they are trying to do, the cyber crimes bill, blah, blah, blah. But the fact that anybody can be arrested for saying something that somebody else mm -hmm. would feel is harassment. And it can be, it can be interpreted by it so many people. Interpreted by anybody Especially when it's even geared harassment. by the um, government instead. This was not something that was brought by the people. So you, mm -hmm. it's not to, it's not rocket science to figure out that they're trying to use that as a means to quiet, to quiet people. people down. So um, they, they, we need to start having that conversation. It's been in the news since 
What when I was at uni? 2014 or something? I mean, <laughs> sir. <laughs> This guy is actually very cute. Yeah, he is actually cute. Mm -hmm. And this is so ridiculous. I can't imagine going to prison because of this, because I laughed at the president. I it's think they have, they, they have something against this guy, I think. I feel like maybe the president is not doing what he's supposed to do, so he feels triggered. Yeah, but why him specifically? Can, you cannot tell me that this guy is the only person. That he's probably not the only person. He's, he's the one we are talking about or hearing of because, because of an his influential person. popularity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. Maybe there are other people that And I don't, I don't think there are many celebrities that are in that Tanzania. big in mm -hmm. Tanzania. Mm -hmm. So maybe he knows that this is going to get pretty... Even if it's not global, <laughs> but pretty continental. <laughs> okay, we need to move on so I can stop laughing. <laughs> But I hope they let him go or sort this issue quickly. Okay, sorry, before we go on, you're talking about ambiguity. Looking yeah. at what the lawyer quoted or what they say the constitution says and what he did in this video, is this also playing in their own space right now? They can, yeah, they can call it emotional stress now, emotional yeah. distress. Emotional so that's why distress. that's the way the ambiguity because, goes into yeah, it. What if I have good intentions what and then you say that it's bad? So if distress. I say, oh, um, Elsie looks... Um, Hideous, not maybe hideous is not a good word, but she looked interesting, and I laughed. Mm -hmm. For me, it's it's very vague. Like interesting is a mm -hmm. you can take it however you want, and then you interpret that as like defamation or whatever. And then so you that's the issue. Have, that's like, kind of like she the gets issue arrested because of that.